Hi, and welcome to Stu's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make biltong, South Africa's favorite snack. I'm going to show you how easy it is, and depending how you like it, I like it quite sort of wet, so for me, two, three days, and it's ready. Choosing a piece of meat, you need to look for a nice piece of fat on it. This is H bone, although it doesn't have any bone in it. You either use top side, silver side, or if there's rump on special, go for that. You need to slice it into decent slices because it is going to shrink. The last two pieces I'm cutting a bit thinner so it'll dry quicker and we can eat it sooner. Watch your fingers. With banting, the fat is important because that's what your body prefers to burn and it's going to keep you feeling more satisfied for longer. I like to brush with some old red wine. Friends of mine ask, what is leftover wine? They never have any. Salt and pepper. You probably need more salt than you think. Ground pepper. If there's kids involved, maybe not too much pepper because it can be slightly burny sometimes. And then I like to use coriander. Just a sprinkle. This is ground coriander. A little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of peri chili. Fantastic. Even a bit of garlic sometimes. And repeat on the other side. I press it down and it's ready to hang. Come with me over there. This is my built-on box that my wife gave to me for a Christmas and it's just great. It's quite a simple structure and it's just got some doweling inside to hang the meat on. I actually leave the door open and have a fan blowing on and it speeds the whole process up. The larger pieces I hang towards the back and try and make sure that you're getting good air circulation. And there we have it. It couldn't be easier. It doesn't get any better when it comes to snacks. It's fantastic. Cheers. Hi, and welcome to Stu's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make biltong. If you know what that is. <laughs> the last two slices I'm cutting a little bit thinner because <laughs> I don't want to wait too long for it. 